Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to this uh, special Networking Basics mini lecture series where you will be learning IPv4 subnetting by example. Again, as for all other examples, you require a solid foundational knowledge of basic subnetting. If you wish to acquire this knowledge, then uh, by all means uh, you can listen to my uh, two subnetting uh, videos. Or you can continue uh, and uh, hopefully you won't be uh, too confused. So this is example three. We've already gone through two other examples. And I hope you're finding them instruction. Instru instru uh, sorry, I can't find the word. I hope you're finding them useful and instructional. In this example, you are given a following starting the following starting network in mask. You're given 57.32.167.0/24, and you are being asked to subnet to provide provide at least 35 subnets. Once you've subnetted, you are asked for some additional questions. Specifically, for subnet number 49. You are asked to calculate the subnet ID and mask, uh, the usable IP address range, and the broadcast address for subnet 49. Let's proceed with uh, the resolution of the question. Number one, uh, we will subnet to provide 35 subnets. For convenience, I've drawn the three basic subnetting formulas and in this case we are given the criteria that we must subnet to provide 35 subnets. Therefore we apply the proper formula which is 2 to the b must be greater or equal to 35. Let us find the value of b, the smallest value of b that meets this requirement. If b equals 5 uh, 2 to the b is 32 and that doesn't meet the requirement. If b equals 6 then 2 to the b is 64. Bingo! That is the smallest value of b that meets the requirement. So 2 to the 6 uh, is 64 and it is greater or equal to 35. Having computed the value of b we can now compute the value of H. Now we started our original address starts with 8 host bits. We have taken 6 of those host bits and transformed them into network bits. Network. Nope. Now so we've uh, so eight minus two, so we are left with two host bits. So H equals two, and our new mask is has been elongated by so our original mask was twenty four plus six, uh, so it's been elongated by six. Therefore, our new mask is a slash thirty. Now with two host bits, how many usable hosts do we have per network? So it's 2 to the h, where 2 to the 2 is 4 minus 2 is 2. So we have exactly two usable IPs per uh, new network or per subnet. Which is incidentally, in, uh, on the internet we have a lot of point-to-point -point connections. That is a point-to-point -point connection. A router-to-router -router connection over a WAN link requires simply two IP addresses. So this subnetting formula or this subnetting uh, recipe is perfect uh, for these many, many uh, networks uh, that require simply two addresses like point-to-point uh, -point links or WAN links. All right, let's just write here H equals 2. And we have a slash 30. So we'll carry that over to our next slide. Now in this question for the subnet 
that we, or for the address that we have just subnetted, we are being asked to calculate for subnet number 49, being asked for the subnet ID in the mask, the usable address range, and the broadcast address. Just a little note here that the subnet ID is also the network ID also known as the network address. Now let me give you a quick and dirty formula. So here the formula is we multiply the subnet number by the subnet size. The result of that multiplication is the last octet value of the subnet ID for that subnet number. So we have uh, the subnet number. Uh, the subnet size is simply 2 to the h. And 2 to the h uh, is 2 to the 2 is 4. Therefore, we multiply 49 times the subnet size of 4. Gives us exactly 196. And that's the value of our last octet. And our first three octets are 57, 57, 32, 167, dot 196 is the subnet ID or the network ID of subnet number 40. And the mask, of course, is a slash 30, which we've already calculated. Let me erase some things to make room so that we can calculate the usable address range as well as the broadcast address. Now, having our first, uh, having the network ID, we can calculate the first usable address, which is the network ID plus one, which is 57.32.167.197. Okay, the next address would be the the last. Ad now, in order to get the last one, we uh, the last one is usually the well, it is always the broadcast minus one. Now, in order to get broadcast address. We can do it the long way. That is, we can uh, convert this to binary and then uh, replace all zeros, all host bits, uh, with ones, and then convert back to decimal, and that would give us our broadcast hat. Now, let's do a simpler version of this. So, our broadcast address is also uh, the it's also the subnet ID. So our broadcast address for subnet number 49 is the subnet ID or the network ID uh, for subnet number 50 minus 1. So the subnet uh, ID for 50 is 50 times 5 is, pardon me, pardon me, not 50 times 5, 50 times 4 is 200. Therefore, 200 minus 1 is exactly 199. And our last usable is always our broadcast minus 1. Now, let's move on to the next question. Okay, so the last question for this is, to which class does this address belong to? The original class is a class A. So we're subnetting a subnet. And uh, is this a public or private? This is a public address. So this concludes our examples. I hope uh, these were useful.